The next game coming up is Firenze Number against. 13, exactly. Uh, Rixu. And I think uh, the Italians yes. say one thing right now that is, Mamma mia! <laughs> because playing against Rixu, it just did beat Rixu, Molde. I mean, we want to exactly. They just beat Molde today. Here we go in the game. Rixu is at the ball, breaking already through uh, the Italian half of the pool. And uh, here we go, we're already at the basket of the Italians. And, and one of the Rixu guys uh, stole it, so... It, it, oh, it's it all, yeah, yeah, so it, wow. That was a massive uh, attack uh, on the basket of the Italians going in. Um, very well executed by Rixu, and they, they don't... The soup is burning here, the, the house is on fire at the Italian side and you hear probably if you put your ear in the water here a lot of mamma mia mamma mia mamma mia so it's uh, here we go you have a one-on-one -on -one chance on the basket and that's a goal uh, first goal after less than a minute from Rixu I'm more and more impressed uh, what uh, the Finnish players uh, do here and uh, this will be not an a joyful easy game for uh, the Italians for the team uh, around Gabriele. Um, Gabriele, who organizes the Firenze Cup uh, in uh, Firenze, Italy. So, a fight on the surface. Call from the referee. Looks like uh, holding without ball. Free throw against Italy. And uh, now the Italians. Uh, secured their basket before the Rixu player could go there, but the Rixu player is already waiting above the basket. Do you see him uh, waiting for uh, the Italian uh, goalkeeper to change so he could take his place? And here he comes, the attack, but uh, the attacker who tries to snatch away the goal uh, goes into the field. They have a lot of air, uh, these Rixu players. They are really well conditioned and go in for the kill on the head side from the close side, pushing really hard, going in out again. Second wave comes in from the close side and there's a player waiting on the open side and the ball is in the basket. Properly executed here, um, this attack. Very well done. And there's another Mamma Mia on the Italian side. Interesting. I really look forward uh, to the the next game of the Finnish team. Um, uh, maybe we will see a surprise. Okay, Italy breaks through into the Finnish half, and uh, the Italian player is attacked heavily by more than four uh, Finnish players, and now three Finnish players are going in one on one. Finnish players left to attack and another goal. Uh, very well done. And the, the Italians, it seems they don't have a means to stop the attacks even if they are swimming in front of them. They, the Finnish players just go through them and stop them. Uh, it's, quite, it's quite tough uh, for Italy uh, after huh, three and a half minutes to have already to be three goals behind and uh, to see another uh, 15 up to 16 minutes ahead of them with uh, more of this beating that the Finnish team provides for them. Very well done, another attack going in. Pass through the open side, uh, but uh, pushed away by the defender. Italian defender succeeds in uh, getting hold of the ball and swims away, but uh, stopped by a Finnish player. And now the goalkeeper has a ball who goes to the surface. Uh, sadly, always a bad idea, but on the surface is where everybody's waiting. So we have a cluster on the surface, and uh, the Italian players go down to save their basket. But there's still some fighting in the surface, I think. Uh, always a sign of uh, either no strategy or no air. Um, if you go up and fight there, you even lose more air. So we have uh, again attack three, two, three uh, players from Finland going on the Italian basket and attack from uh, the front. Now taking uh, some speed out and build the attack. And here we go again. 
two players already with a pass in front of the basket and the uh, player with the number 66 tries to oh. get to the basket from the open side. Breaks free again, another wave attack and this is a really hard beating Italy is getting here because uh, the, the finish game is merciless. They go just in the one after another and they soon don't seem exhausted, they don't slow down in, in, the, in the process. Now, that was a bad pass uh, taken away by an Italian player, but nevertheless, the Finnish player who should have received the ball uh, fought very hard with the Italian player who snatched it away from him. So, don't give up is, uh, seems to be the, the slogan of the Finnish team. And we have again... <laughs> no, don't, don't well, don't give don't up in give the in up the sense. Is <laughs> <laughs> no, but don't never give up in in any case. Even if you lose the ball, fight for it again and again. So he just did. He was down uh, quite a long time and I he think didn't give up. That's the slogan for all of the teams playing here. <laughs> well, the slogan for the Italian team is "Mamma Mia" in this game. So again, uh, uh, attack from the open side uh, didn't succeed. The player goes around the basket, passes back on the open side. That was really clever because uh, he attacked from the open side, turned around above the goalkeeper and passed back to the open side. And the defender was already orientating to him. So there was a gap and the player waiting there had all the time to go in and execute uh, the score. Very well done. Nice. Um, I don't want to know how the Italians feel right now. <laughs> Two Finnish players <laughs> struggling for the ball. They were pushing it uh, in front of them uh, like uh, they are a little bit bored here. But here we go, uh, empty basket, will it succeed? Yes, it's inside. The Italians didn't make it in time. That's a pity, it's always, it hurts. When, it, when you receive a goal, when you fight for it, fair enough. But when you are not fast enough down at the, at the basket and you receive the goal, that's always, that hurts because you didn't even have a chance to fight for it. Every tour, every goal hurts. Yeah, but they hurt more. Well. <laughs> Two <laughs> minutes uh, and uh, 55 seconds left in this first half of uh, Riksu from Finland in white against Firenze in blue uh, from Italy. And it's a 5-0 for, for Riksu. And it's a second, team for, second game for both teams. And uh, Italy, uh, here we go, another goal for Rixu, very well fought. And the Italians, they, they fight back, but they, you see they don't have the means to answer the attacks of the Finnish team. So both teams had already won game. Rixu did win against Molde. Rixu did win against Molde. Rixu did win against Molde. And um, Firenze lost against Newark from the USA. So Italy going into the half of uh, the Finnish pool side and try to establish their game uh, but they lost uh, the, bus, the, the, the ball in the corner and Rixu is already swimming fast for the Italian basket two players, oh, that was I think the, the goalkeeper didn't even see that coming from the corner he was concentrating on the one uh, swimming in the middle of the pool who didn't even have the ball because the one attacking from the close side uh, had an easy game pushing the ball inside. So, tough game for Italy. And one and a half hour second, one and a half minutes left in this first first half uh, from Italy against Rixu. Now, Italy is trying to turn the pages, to turn the page around and change this game um, but they are uh, pushed away and a call from the referee here free throw against Riksu free throw against Finland sorry I will help you in a minute I have to update uh, but we said that we, we, we should put a message to the old live stream that there's a new one so I'm trying to edit that so yes I'll 204 people watching us on the live stream and uh, you see the last seconds of the first half of uh, Riksu from Finland in white against Italy, uh, the team from Firenze in blue, and it's a 7-0 for the Finnish team. So the time is counting down, and the Riksu players are already going forward, 
And they were really fast, you see, they're really fast swimmers and they have the pool in the middle for themselves here. And there's one player coming from the close side and two players waiting on the open side behind the basket. So the first pass is going uh, and it goes back to the close side and here comes the attack. And the pass is going nowhere, I cannot see it. That's the end, uh, that's uh, the end of the first half. Half time. That was not uh, no fun for Italy and fun for mm, fun for Felixu. Uh, so I have another uh, dose of uh, French fries, <laughs> which I probably share with Lorena. I know I'm still full of from that candy. I just finished it five minutes ago. It took me we, like we two get hours. A, we <laughs> get a lot of candy here, a lot yeah, of hearts. Also from new work, we got we got some chocolate. It's yeah. okay. We need it from the functioning of the brain, you know, for the synapses. <laughs> yeah. If, if so we start talking, you know. Yeah. Thank wrong, you very whatever, much, everybody, for taking care of sugar. us. Yeah. Um, really nice. So, okay, we talked about refereeing. Um, where how to start yes contact uh, the referees uh, you have here in the uh, champions cup you send us an email or uh, contact Vinny. we can put you in contact with uh, the chief referees with the aa referees and uh, they can tell you how you will proceed another thing uh, we told you from about the on the water rugby academy um, what we try to do there create a space to meet exchange knowledge of underwater rugby and uh, see us face to face not only in the water and normally you don't have time in these tournaments to do a lot of talking sure there are referees meetings here and uh, everything but uh, players meeting and coaches meeting to with the sole goal uh, to exchange knowledge and yes, to it's impossible there's so much to do yeah. in the concentration and to be focused on the tournament and in each game that is ahead of you then once you have to change you should, the, the game you relax and uh, three days go away like nothing so that's what we try to change with the uh, uh, underwater rugby academy which actually was an idea of winner who is the mastermind here behind um, the whole champions cup thing um, he told me about two years ago, shouldn't we start some congress or some meeting, conference about on the water rugby with all these nations having here. And it took two years um, till I got in contact with Jan Meisenbacher from Switzerland. He was in contact with Julia Brauneck and he put uh, um, Levent Kavas into the, the team and me and Lorena and Thorsten Stanchers. And uh, we realized it with hard work within a year to realize the underwater rock academy have it happening uh, yesterday here in Berlin. So back in the game, second half here of the game, um, Riksu from Finland in white. And they have a female player too, um, what, with ready? the number nine. And uh, against Italy from Firenze in blue. And it's already a 7-0 uh, lead for Riksu. <laughs> Amazing team we see here, and we will see more of them on the Champions Cup here, I think. And already Italy is on a heavy attack. Elina. Elina, yeah. she's the female players player from uh, Rixu. And uh, like all the other goals, uh, oh, very well team. executed here. From the open side, the attack was on the close side, the ball passed around the, the basket to the open side. And uh, very well. Very well done. So I think this game will not offer us any surprise. And uh, it's not really showing us what Riksu is capable of. Um, but we saw it against the, in the game against Molde. Um, for Italy, it's a, it's a hard stand even though they are in attack mode now and going in quite nice. They are uh, attacking the goalkeeper. The one player is attacking the goalkeeper, even though he's uh, almost fixed with the ball in the hand. 
but he breaks free with a nice body movement. Those uh, torque movements are always the best way to get rid uh, of an attacker. And uh, they are still in ball possession. This is a good sequence we see from Italy here in the second half, beginning of the second half, uh, in their attacking mode on the Finnish basket. And never say never. Um, the way they're attacking now, if they can hold up it, maybe they find uh, a lucky hole uh, in this uh, defense of Rixu, but I, I don't see a chance right now if they don't go in massive and keep it up like that. And I'm, I'm questioning if they are able here if an attack from the close side. I don't see nothing because of all the bubbles from the new players jumping in. But uh, the Italian players uh, are tackled away. Well, 8-0 for the Finnish team. Now we have some a grab to the mask. And I believe it's a free throw against uh, the Finnish Blue team. Blue free throw. So let's see if Fidense can achieve a score from this free throw, which is supposed to be an advantage for them. But with such an aggressive uh, team uh, like the Finnish, look, they lost the ball in the middle of the pool and it just goes against them and almost score a, uh, a goal. I mean, the defender just got in position on time and for a brief second there, I didn't know what the ball was. So. It's a bit if you cannot really um, get in a structure in and, and use uh, a free throw in your favor, then they can really turn around. Um, let's see, uh, Italy is doing really big effort to defend and to get uh, in uh, control of the ball. And the, the goalkeeper just got a pass and is trying to swim a counter attack. But the Finnish intercept the Italian player and now they're fighting there two against two at the bottom of the pool. And uh, the one Finnish player uh, got finally the ball and is now passing pass it to his uh, teammate. And now they're trying to attack um, from the close corner. Oh, did he did miss almost that pass. And now they're trying to, even if the defenders, the goal is done in position, now it's big of a mess, I can't see the ball. Oh, the Italian player got the ball and is swimming a counter-attack and it took a little bit uh, for the finish to realize what was going on, but uh, they got very quick into position and I believe the Italian left the play area. That's such a pity. And you are such in a, a, a better position that you're about through. to do an attack and then you don't realize you're leaving the play area so now they have a free throw against them we have already one of the finnish player that already stole the basket and those guys have air and the next finnish player has been attentive so came to replace his uh, mate uh, on the italian basket and now it's two more uh, trying to get uh, there to the Italian basket, but uh, the Italians recovered. The ball was a great uh, recovering and trying to move away and trying to get closer to the Finnish um, side of the pool, but they're still fighting in the middle. And uh, the Finnish recover and uh, in a counter attack and just barely made it. The ball uh, fell in the head of the Italian defense and. Uh, Sadly, they couldn't recover. Now the goalie was really struggling. The Finnish player got the ball and Goal. scored. So we have a 9-0. The number 15 of Riksu is number 15 is Jim Holmbeck. I have no idea of Finnish pronunciation. I tried with Wolf, but uh, was not really successful. So. I apologize <laughs> for the mistake. So, let's see. Four minutes and a half to go. And we're in the middle of the pool. And um, the Italians recovered the ball, but there's no one. Uh, well, now they just arrived to pass the ball and try to build at least one way without hitting the defense and losing the ball by the Finnish team. Now, um, Elina, I think is her name, yeah, got the ball from one of her mates and was trying to start a counter attack and now pass it farther. You have two whites coming onto the blue basket of the Italians and attacking from above. 
trying to pass over the close corner but uh, was um, pulled away and uh, now they're at the corner one of the Italians got the ball it was at the corner but the, the Finnish team got got it back and now they're underneath the goal the defender and the white attacker and it's three four Italians one white guy that's still in position of the ball and then the number 13 got it and just push the keeper the goalkeeper away and score the number 13 i believe Goal was 13 yes it was tommy pumi suomalainen or something like that so i just <coughs> so i just checked um how um, the Dixu timeout did last year blue. we have a timeout, timeout from blue, blue from italy timeout oh, fine. Blue. So last Time year, 2016 Champions Cup in Berlin, Rixu had um, uh, number five in the final score. In the year 2015, they didn't participate. Rixu was not playing. Um, instead of them, no, there was no Finnish team here. And the year before 2014 was Hemelinen uh, Super. I cannot Hemelinen. What? Hemelinen. Thank you. Hemeli, Hemelinen. Your Norwegian is is spotless. Hemelinen to Geltayet. Sure. You're showing off. You're showing off, Lorena. I'm fluent in Finnish. I oh, was, you know, when you went to sleep every evening, I I I, I secretly study until three o'clock in the morning how to pronounce that. That's. I'm impressed. <laughs> you always, I see things in you I've never seen before. Crazy. Back in the game. Less than three minutes left. And uh, Italy will probably be thinking about uh, lying in bed in their hotel. Well, it's a tough game right now, but imagine these guys won against Molde earlier today. So this is a very tough, very uh, strong team. Uh, well, there's no doubt in that. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt that. Two minutes and 20 seconds to go. The Italians are trying to achieve an attack, but uh, the Finnish are very consequent, very disciplined, and don't really leave them space to build up more than a half a wave. And, uh, I think that's the highest score we have seen so far, isn't it? No. No? No, so team zero was Akaren against uh, ah, yeah, Vienna, it's Vienna. The, but it was the girls. With yeah. the, but the men, it's the, the highest man, score we, no, yet. No, 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 we had Molde against Newark for team zero as well. Okay, well. So, um, but what really amazes me, we talked about it earlier, uh, the teams who are uh, on the on the losing side in these games, I haven't seen yet a team that gave up. That gave up, and Italy is not giving up at that no, point. No, 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 they're fighting, and they're keep, you know, they keep they up the They have heavy tattoos, these guys. Wow. Well, they don't have sun, so they maybe they have to cover the skin with something. You South Americans are so arrogant with your sun. <laughs> we no, Nordic, no, we Nordic people have to cover our skin with tattoos because we have no sun. Come on. Sorry. No. Okay, back in that, the game. That, that, that's a back that's in the a game. Silly, that's a silly theory. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> we need more chocolate. <laughs> okay, Finland going in really fast. Uh, there was a try to uh, easy. Passing three, under the basket and it succeeded. Three against one guy Goal. or one and a half a guy because the defense was just getting into position. So, so the development of uh, Rixu is quite amazing. Um, they haven't been uh, playing 2014, no, 2015. They came into the Champions Cup 2016, made place uh, number five, and uh, now we see them competing uh, even higher up and. Uh, I'm really looking forward to see them playing they, I mean, I really like their game still. I mean, it's yep, really style. fluent, it's, it's yeah. strong, it's fast. And they are well uh, conditioned. They they yeah. look like they have a lot of air yeah. and uh, they they uh, stay down. The bottom time is amazing. And three yeah. seconds, two, one, zero. Here we go. It's an 11-0, the highest score we have yet here in yeah. a men's game. For the game. men games, yeah. And uh, 
very well fought uh, by the Italians with a lot of Mamma Mia.